Welcome back to chapter two of the Chandelar Sessions. If you've missed the first one, there's probably an info card popping up right now. So you can go uh, click on there, check out my adventures of last week when I started the game. And uh, we're going to continue, you know. Load, Tim the Enchanter. I got a pretty, uh, pretty kick-ass blue, black, uh, white deck, if I say so myself. Not too many black cards though. I guess I'm gonna play the second curse land. I need some more swamps. Let's see if they have swamps. Island. I don't think I need an island. I can buy the bats. Seal and blue could be useful. Hmm, I'm thinking. Oh wait, I still gotta defeat a seer. Okay, gotta defeat a seer for. Colorless cards, okay. Hey, found the planes. Where are you, Mr. Seer? Where are you at? Is this a seer? A warlock, you know, this is the problem. I'm looking for a seer, but I, I don't know what I'm looking for. I played this game like ages ago. I can't remember. Um, those who enter the domain of the mighty black wizard. Okay, I'm gonna pay or battle. I'm, I'm gonna battle because I want the howl from beyond. That's a cool card. That is a good card, yeah. Hmm, he won the toss, but he wants to draw first. Sweet. Let's see, wall of air. Okay, Murfolk of the Pearl Trident, but no island. Hmm, this is looking like a bad mana base. Let's go for Swamp, go for Wolf. I really think I want to go to um, to like a two-color deck really, really quickly, and I think it's going to be blue-black. But we'll just see what kind of cards we find along the way. I mean, obviously blue-white is strong too, but... You know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit boring, and I don't play a lot of blue-black actually in real life, so it might be fun to just do that here in Chandelar. Anyway, attacking with the wolf, so he's on eleven. Drain life, oh, fair enough. Mm, another falcon. Only swamps and the plains. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, second island, or first island, that's kind of nice, so I'm going to play my Falcon. Next turn I can play my Merfolk. Flying is really good in this game. Like, if you got flyers, you can win a lot of battles. Oh, unless, of course, your opponent also has flyers. Uh, I have not expected that. It's really good. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna play unstable. Let's see if he blocks. Sometimes they do these weird, weird things. The problem here is that one of the things he can do is use his Thomas as one to make the Spectre unblockable, and then I gotta discard a card, so that's bad news. I think I'm just gonna play super aggressive now. Another hippie. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Okay, I'm just gonna attack, see if he takes a trade. I mean, if he double blocks, I'm fine with that. He can kill one of the hippies. One, two, and three. Then I'm gonna play Curse Land. I'm gonna play the Merfolk. So I'm probably going to lose the wall of air here, but hopefully I can just, you know, push through. I mean, if he's going to cast another Hypnotic Spectre, I don't know what to do. Actually, this is pretty good too, the Merc Dwellers. Oh, it's looking so bad for me now. I'm on nine. Hi, 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 hi. Yep. Oh, this is a really nice combo, by the way. Thomas is one with Merc Dwellers, because Merc Dwellers gets a plus two plus oh bonus. 
when it's not blocked, so he's gonna deal six points of damage. Holy moly. Holy moly. It's so funny, like in Chandelar, Thomas' Wand is a super good card. Ooh, poison counters. Hey, talking about the wand. I've got one as well. I guess I could have used it straight away. Should have done that, but I, I, regardless, I'm toast. Doesn't matter. Mm. Here we go, dead. I lose my drudge. It's actually pretty decent. Hey, found a seer. Okay, so this is a seer. So I gotta remember, this is what a seer looks like. Yeah, duel, go for it. <clears throat> okay, first. Okay, come on. I gotta win this. I gotta win this. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Oh, it's bad. Okay, after this, I'm gonna check my mana base. I'm gonna go back to the village, check my mana base. Oh, this is horrible. If only I had a blue or a white, I could play Sephir Falcon, Tundra Wolves. I've got a Timmy in hand. Could have killed this Falcon. Okay, this is good news. Okay, so I'm gonna cast a Tim. Hopefully the Tim survives so I can ping the Falcon. But I know that, I think she also plays with Unstable Mutation. Don't play out any, just pass the turn. Just pass the turn. Oh, time element. Okay, could be worse. It's not ideal, but it's gonna kill the fal falcon straight away before I somehow forget or something. Another island. Um, gonna play Phantom Monster. I mean, if next turn she puts down a land and she uses all her mana to send back the Phantom, I'm actually fine with that, you know, it doesn't matter. Unless, of course, she has an unsummon. Okay, let's play Planes. Look, now I can do multiple things in a turn, which is really good. Because I've got enough mana now to also play the Phantom. And that really works against the uh, the time elemental. If you can do multiple things, because the thing with the time elemental is it's like two blue and two to send something back. So it's it's super good, but it t takes a lot of mana out of you, meaning you lose almost a whole turn. In this case, she doesn't even have enough mana. She's stumbling on on lands. So that's really good for me. And step Bing, of course. I'm gonna go to nine. Another island. You know what? We're first just gonna attack. And now with the Tim, if she blocks, unlike her Ornithopter, I can kill it with the Tim. She's too clever though. Um, play a ghoul. And play the falcon. Here we go. Empty my hand. And now we gotta remember to ping. It's something I forget all the time, so I gotta ping. Okay, discard phase. Now we got a ping. Gonna put her on four. Okay, this is looking good so far. Now we're gonna attack with the team. And remember, you cannot block with. Well, you can block with time elemental, but then the elemental destroys itself. You take five points of damage. So she's probably not gonna do that. She is gonna do that. That's funny. But she's gonna die because of her own time elemental. Oh, Counterspell and a Ghost Ship. Yes, take the cards, please. Ebony Horse. You happen upon a... Prismat Dragon. I mean, I can duel. The nice thing about these dragons is that... Um, sorry for the toss. Is that you don't have to put anything out for anti, so I mean, you can only win, right? You can't really lose. They do have really good decks, so usually you lose. And also, I mean, the dragon's starting on 22, which is huge. Island and a merfolk of the Pearl Trident, turn one play. Let's 
Let's play a Swamp, and we're gonna attack for one. Next turn, I can play the Timmy. But it's really risky against these dragons, because sometimes they like play out the Moxon and whatever and do something crazy. Turn the whole game around. There's an Onulet, okay, fair enough. It's not great, but... Play out the Tim. Ooh, Earthquake for one. Oh, that is painful. That is painful. That was a really good move and no mana for me. That is really bad, no white mana. I mean, if I could find some more lands, then, you know, I've got a Water Elemental in hand, which is five to cast, but really huge, but can't play him out. Dropped his six here. Okay, Dredge Skeletons. I wish I had a second black, but it is what it is. 19, okay. Just gonna take the damage. Drop to four. Okay, planes, that's actually useful. Um, you know what? I'm gonna play a brainwash, just for, just for fun. Like, when do you play brainwash? Like, like, never. Just for fun. Let's see if the dragon's gonna pay three to attack. No, he's not. Okay. Now I can play my water elemental. That is huge. Getting back into this game. That's sweet. I mean, he's still on 17. I've got a long way to go, but who knows? Oh, he kills his own Onulet? Really? No, he doesn't. Oh, he just doesn't want to discard. I'm just gonna attack here. Okay, then I'm gonna play a Cursed Land. I like this Cursed Land, really nice. Disenchant though. Unfortunate. Ooh, look at this unstable mutation. Wow, that's huge. Um, first play out of Cursed Land. Oh no, oh! You see what happened? I wanted to play Unstable Mutation on the Sephir this turn, but I double clicked on the Cursed Land and that means that the computer decides how your mana are getting tapped. And, uh, you know, Chandelier tapped my islands. Now I can no longer play my Unstable. I forgot about that. Like if you just uh, click it once, I'll show you next, uh, next turn. If you click it once, you can decide uh, what mana you want to select. Doesn't matter a lot though, but still. Um, ooh, attacking here. I think I'm gonna chump because if he's got a pump spell or a bolt, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm just gonna chump. So look, if you just click once, then it says tap an island. If I double click, which I'm doing right now, then it selects the island for you or the, the mana for you. So if you want to make sure you don't tap out on specific uh, lands, you just got to click it once. Okay, here we go, people. I'm just going to beat the dragon. That's huge. I'm going to win. What am I going to win again? I forgot. The stasis, Farmstead, Felden, Skin, Lifeblood. Okay, sweet. Lifeblood's funny. I mean, the color hate cards can be really useful. Okay, let's go. Let's get our price. A colorless card. What am I going to get? Nevenerals this? Oh, I can only choose a couple. Suchi. Ooh, that's really good. 4 4 for 4. Wait, I need lands, of course. I'm going to get a land. Get 
I live in Buffalo. Yes, I can. Oh, I can. Oh, what to get? Oh, I mean, I could go for City of Brass for the mana, but that's kind of lame, isn't it? I want to get something cool. Suchi's cool. Gauntlet of Might. That's an awesome card. But... I guess I could go for this, but... This is tough. Um... You know what? I'm gonna go for the Gauntlet of Might. I don't even play red, but I think it's just it's such a cool card. I'm gonna do it. It's just a Timmy and me that has to go for the cool card. Of course, Suchi and everyone's disc would have been better, probably, or City of Brass, but, you know. 39 cards to go. Let's have a look. What do I have? Ghost Ship, I should definitely play. Um, turn the volume down a little bit. Um... So if I pop them up, then you don't see them. I want to check my lands. Oh, I got a Savannah. I didn't know that. Um, I got a drop of color. Oh, man. I'm going to drop white, which is odd because I got a Sarah Angel, but I want to go for blue black. I want to go for blue. Okay, and then take a look at the black cards that we have. Okay, two vampire bats, not too shabby. Uh, Pestilence is good. Let's look at the blue cards that we have. Counterspell, really good. Mm. What artifacts do we have? Ebony Horse, could be good. Untap target creature, you control target attacking creature, okay. I mean, it's not really that good, is it? Well, let's play with, why not? Let's play with it. I mean, I'm gonna play the Leviathan, don't worry, but that's gonna, that's gonna happen at a later date when I have more, um, when I have more cards in my deck. Now I wanna work towards like a 60 card deck, so this is 40, but I wanna work towards 60 card deck, so. That'll happen, that'll happen. I'm gonna buy some food, I see. Okay, apparently I gotta defeat the minions. Okay, I gotta go travel south to Sephir Shrine. Okay, where is that? Sephir Hole. So I gotta go further south. That's down, right? Let's go. Begin a quest. Take this message south to my brother to Sephir Shrine. Sephir is not too shabby. Counterspell, Timmy. Dark Ritual would be really good. Let's go Island, Sephir.
Drudge, pretty sweet. Oh man, this is the thing. I'm clicking too quick now. I missed combat. Stupid. Oh, I'm gonna counter. Sweet! Counter spell played in Chandelar. The last time I did that was 25 years ago. What I need is lands. Preferably black. I've got a really good hand, right? I've got Control Magic, which is great. I got a Timmy, which is great. Uh, Pestilence is useful. Vampire Bats is a good flyer. But I cannot do anything. Oh, finally. Okay, now I can play at least a Tim. I can start being a little bit annoying, right? With the pinging, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force it to regenerate. And yeah. Okay, this is good. I can control magic something. Do I want to do that? Maybe just play bats first. The problem is that she's got a lot of black open to regenerate, but I think if I ping exactly, then he's taken out of combat, so that's good. Okay, Phantom Monster, decent. Um, I'm just gonna attack. Let's see what happens. So I am not gonna pump because I wanna play out the Phantom Monster. So one of the things I can do now is on end step, uh, ping one of the Willows for one, then she has to regenerate. And when you regenerate, um, the, the creature taps. Oh, this is bad. Drain life. Oh, no. Still gonna do it though. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna attack first. Unfortunately, I need all my mana, or at least one black mana to cast a scavenger rule. I will be the Ebony Horse. It's gonna go for the mummy. Gonna go for the mummy. Ooh, he stepped out. I didn't see that. Ooh, that is, I didn't see that. So I'm, I'm killing the Wisp because I've got two Flyers, I've got the Mahamoti in hand, and then if I steal the other Wisp, I can just continue attacking with my Flyers. So I'm just going to take the damage here. Ooh, this is really good. For him at least, not for me. Um, okay, I guess I got to attack with everything. Let's go and do that. I mean that disc changes the whole like strategy of the game. Actually, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to play out anything. I'm just going to wait. The waiting game. I mean, if she's going to use her disc, fine. The next turn, I'm start rebuilding. No, 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 what am I doing? I wanted to ping her. Okay, she activates it. Everything's dead. Hey, she's not even regenerating. That's great. 
Okay, so now she's playing another disc. So what I think I'm gonna do, just play the bats for some pressure. And that's it. I mean, she's on four, so maybe maybe one bats is enough to force her to use the disc. Exactly. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna play the ghoul. I was thinking about cursed land, but I think the ghoul, you know, two power. If she doesn't have a creature, I can take her out. Another swamp. Okay, let's first attack. Let's see what's gonna happen. Then I'm gonna play Cursed Land. Oh, I had the unstable mutation. I could have won already. Oh man. That is sloppy magic. Could have played the unstable on the ghoul, uh, attack for five, win the game. You know what? I'm gonna do that now. On the ghoul. Tap a blue. Here we go. Yes, winning it. Dark ritual, really nice. Take the cards, go on the ritual. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, I think. Ooh. Found a swamp. Duel of Warlock. What do I have? Two islands, a Mamoti Jin, vampire bats, stretch skeletons. I need black. I need black. I'm not finding it though. Give me some swamps, please. Okay. You know what? Singing helps. Singing helps. Um. Yeah, let's play the drudge first. Scheduling is four, I think I have four. Unfortunate, I thought maybe it's three, I can cast it next turn, but. Ooh, Elajash, that's a cool card. Always like that card. So now what I can do is play my... Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? First, I'm gonna attack. Okay, fair enough, not blocking. Then I'm gonna play the bats. Next turn, I'm gonna play the unstable on the bats, I think. Gonna take the damage and he's gonna gain a life. El Hajash is, I believe, the first card to have kind of that life link uh, ability. Merc Dwellers. So Merc Dwellers Taunus is want again. That's really good. He can deal four damage a turn. That's a problem. Uh I gotta put some more pressure on. Tap a blue. Okay, so I'm dealing four damage. It's like a Sarah Angel flying in. But this is a problem. Oh yeah. Um, you know what? I'm gonna double block. I think this is a good deal because of the Tannis' want, you know, like... Oh, okay, now it's a bad deal. That is really, really bad. Merc Dwellers. Next turn, though, I can play Mahamoti. That's really cool. Um, oh, I'm making that mistake again of not selecting the mana. Oh, no, I only have one swamp. Doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm rambling a little bit. Anyway, attacking for two. Going to put him on six. Um, he can put me on six as well, but then I'm going to play the Mahamoti. You know what? I'm going to block. I'm gonna take this. I think it's a good trade. Okay, he's doing some weird stuff. Probably could have won the game if he just uses the uh, the Howling Mind better. Sorry, Howl from Beyond better. Okay, I'm gonna attack. I'm not gonna pump the bats because I wanna play the Mahamoti next turn. 
Because then I think I can win. If he doesn't have an answer for the Modi, because it's five power and he's on five life, I can win the game. Don't play an answer, please. Okay, this is pretty funny. So what he's doing is he's using Tonus' wand and Howl from Beyond, which is pretty cool, right? You use the wand to make it unblockable, then pump your creature with uh, a Howl from Beyond and then attack. You know, I respect that. I think it's pretty cool. And because he, and he gains life, right? Because of the El Hajash kind of life link clause. So that's pretty cool. I think he's going to survive another turn. I don't think I can kill him yet. Also, I only have one swamp, I think. No, I've got two. Okay, that's good. So he's on one. Gonna play the Falcon. But I mean, if he can make the El Hajash unblockable, pump it somehow. Yeah, he's doing the same little trick. He's gonna go up to four. It's not enough though. I think I can win. My vampire bets dies to the unstable mutation. Let's attack. There we go. Hey, victory. Energy flux, that's useful. Drain life is good. Bayou is good. Take the cards. The card seller. If you combine Marsh Viper with Tonus's wand, yeah, you can put poison counters on. Great, that's a good tip. I think I think the card seller looks at dice watching Timmy Talks. Subscribe to the channel. Do I need more planes? Probably do. COP blue. I don't know. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, I gotta sell some stuff. Hmm. I guess I gotta build something with um, with red now because I got that uh, that artifact. Uh, I got no green to sell apparently. Maybe some artifacts. Yeah, I'll sell Throne of Bone. Sell Cursed Rack. No, I'm not going to sell Chromus Bell. It's too cool. Do I have white cards I can sell? Brainwash. I think that's very mediocre. Farmstead. 540 gold for Farmstead? Get out of here. Get out of here, chum. What else do I have? You know what? I'm just going to sell all the white. Who cares? Who cares about white anyway? going to sell. I'm just deciding not to play white in this particular campaign. Maybe I'm going to regret it. Probably will, but... Done it already. Okay, we've got another swamp. Bayou. Not gonna play the body. Let's see, and I need to go to Sephir Shrine. Then I'm gonna go to Unicorn Sanctum to see if I can save them. I wanna win El Ajash. Play first. Get me some El Ajash. It's just so cool that like Richard Garfield created Arabian Nights in in like like this, you know, in a flash. And and the set is so epic. The cards are so interesting. It's just amazing how he did that. There's a gem bazaar. So this is one of those cards you only find in the game. Really cool. So when it comes into play, choose a random color. So what they really did is um it's called the Astral Set. I actually made a video about it. Um Probably info card popping up. Uh, what they did is they really played around the random effect that, uh, effects that you could do when you have an electronic card game. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, hmm. But I only have big fatties to play. Water Elemental, Gin, and the Sea Serpent. Another gem bazaar. Okay. Urg Raider, that's a problem. So I'm definitely gonna take two next turn. Ooh, Spirit Link. You know what? I'm gonna control magic the Urk Raider. Because you're basically stealing two cards with one control magic, so 
And Control Magic already is kind of like a two for one, so pretty good deal. First gonna attack. Let's see. I mean, this is so pretty good. Oh, wait a minute, he gains the life because it's his spirit link. Of, uh, how long have I been playing Magic? Oh, this is so bad, so bad, so bad. Um, let's play Water Elemental. At least I can block the Earth Raider. Oh, this is so bad because I stole it. Oh. So I have to like keep attacking with it or take two points of damage and then he even is even gonna gain life from it. Actually, Spirit Link on Earth Raiders, another forgotten combo. So I need to write these things down. Okay, Mahamoti. But I think that despite my mistakes, I can still win it here because I just have all these big fatties. Playing island. I'm just gonna attack. Let's play a curse land. That's what I really like about this game. You're playing with cards you usually don't play with, like curse land. It's a card I always think, okay, it has potential, but the two black and two is just too much. You know, if it would be one black and one, it would be quite useful. Um, okay, we're just gonna attack with the full Monty. So funny, I'm keeping him alive now because I stole that, um, that Urg Raider. <sighs> Stupid. I also could have not attacked, by the way, with the Earth Raider. That probably would have been better. You know what I can do? Let's see if this works. Let's use my Ebony Horse on the Earth Raider. Oh, yeah. I mean, hey, City of Brass, that's really good. Sinkhole, El Ajaj. Sacrifice with, uh, with Drain Life, pretty sweet. I'm gonna take the cards. No 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 Oh man You know what I wanna I wanna win the the disc I'm gonna duel Let's duel Um I I need to look at my deck again My deck's too slow I think I just keep getting fatties in hand which is nice but it needs some more balance. And not the card balance, but, you know, balance is in the deck. It needs to be more balanced. There's another Throne of Bone. I really love this art. Really, really cool. Like, he's sitting on the skeleton. Like, Anson Maddox, well done. Let's go, another swamp. Still cannot play out anything. But next turn, I can do Scavenging Ghoul or Curse Land, and I've got an Unstable Mutation. So I think I'll do Scavenging Ghoul onto Unstable, having a 5-5 five, five body to, to attack with. Although, this is also tempting Sephir Falcon. No, I'm going to go Scavenging Ghoul. And I know you're going to take two life. Enjoy, enjoy while you still can, because there's a 5-5 five, five zombie coming your way next turn. Ooh, okay, make that a 0-1 zombie. Okay, change of plans. Island. Hmm. Sephir Falcon. That's it, and then I've got counter magic still open. Which is good. So I play Unstable next turn on Sephir, hit him for four, he's gonna drop to seven. Unless he plays a black spell and gains some life from the Throne of Bones. Oh, I'm gonna counter this.
And he plays a dark ritual. Ooh, he takes mana burn. Okay, lucky me. I forgot mana burn is a thing in this game. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, let's put it on here. Tap it blue. Let's attack. Then we're going to play the ghost ship. You know, next turn, if he's not dead, we can also play Cursed Land. Okay, gaining some life. I think we got this one, but... Although, no, 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 he's not dead yet. He's on five. I'm going to play Phantom Monster. That's a better option in Cursed Land. So this is the thing with Cursed Land, what I just said. Like, it's just too expensive to cast. Ooh, Unholy Strength. Thank you, Witch. And I think I'm playing for Disc, right? So that's really sweet. Like, Disc is... I like Disc because it's, it's really a card you want to kind of brew, brew around, right? You want to make a deck around uh, the Disc. Okay, we're going to attack with the whole army. Hey, winning! Take the cards, please. Okay, trade blue amulets for any fast effect. Black, can I play, can I get a terror? That would be really sweet. Oh, Darkness for one? Maybe Howl from Beyond? What is in blue as a fast effect? Unsummon actually is quite good. Psionic Blast. Four blue amulets? Wow. Four blue amulets, as they say. Oh yeah, let's have a look. Um, wait, no. White is going to be turned on. City of Brass, we're going to play for sure. El Ajash, I want to play. Drain Life, I want to play. Dark Ritual, I want to play. I have no real disc. Do I want to play that yet? I don't really have a strategy for that. Let's take my Norfolk out. Or not, Norfolk is a one. I always find this the toughest, right? When you gotta try to get this overview. To, 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 that music of the game, hilarious. Uh, sinkhole. The Unsummon I just bought. But now we need more lands, I feel. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep these out for now. Ebony Horse can go out. Sea Serpent can go out. Okay, 43. Okay, I'll put Sinkhole back in. Sinkhole's really good. I should play with Sinkhole. But I think, although I think in this game, you know, Sinkhole is not that great. As a one-off, but defeat the conjurer, which has been menacing and ever rewards with any fast effect. Ew. Yeah, yeah. Defeat the conjurer. Okay. Pay the gold. Uh, to release the world magic spell, slide of the hand from Sabre Shrine, you must pay 400. Slide of hand. Pay the gold. You may buy amulets for 200 gold. Um, sure. Buy a white one. Buy a blue one. Buy a black one. Buy a blue one. Okay, and now I'm broke. Defeat a conjurer. Okay, and this is a conjurer. Hey, look at that. I can I can win a rod of ruin. I'm not gonna change the ante. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna accept it, man. I'm gonna be fair. I'm not gonna change it. Okay. Play first. 
I'm going to make a deal with you guys. I will never change the ante, even though I can. Because I kind of liking the risk, right? It's part of the game. It's ante. I don't want to change. Um, okay. Island into Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. You know what? Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to play a Cyclopean Mummy. I thought for a moment let's do a... Um, a unstable mutation on a merfolk, but this is better. I can always do it next turn. This is good. This is like a big body. Um, what shall I do? Unstable. Full aggro. Boom. So giant tortoise. Um, oh man, a Timmy. That is bad. That is bad. I could have played a Timmy last turn. I chose not to. That's uh, that was a mistake, I guess. That is bad. Problem is this. Tim can kill so much on my side of the board. I'm going to play my Tim, uh, hoping that maybe he's not going to kill my Tim. You know, sometimes computers do weird stuff. I'm first going to attack, though, with the mummy. Oh, look at this. Talking about weird stuff. This is ideal. Blocking with his own Tim. That is a mistake. I don't like this art of the Tim, by the way. I want the original art. Hey, Apprentice Wizard. That's cool. Also cool art. That is sweet. Um, I am gonna kill it though, I'm sorry. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I could have attacked with the Cyclopean Mummy. If he would have blocked, I could have killed it with the Tim. I was too eager. Oh, I forgot to play with the bats. Oh, okay, focus. Focus. Ooh, a pirate ship. It's funny, he plays Apprentice Wizard. When you join the Timmy Talks Patreon page, it's a little commercial break here. You can join on the Apprentice level, which is uh, just a dollar a month. You can join on the Sorcerer level, Particle Sorcerer Timmy level, which is $2 a month. Or you could join on the Pirate Ship level, which I think is, is $5 a month. So it's really nice to have these, these different levels coming back in the game. It's a good job. Um, fast effects upkeep. I'm gonna lose another counter. This pirate ship is a really big problem, by the way. Okay. What should I do? I think I know it. I think I'm gonna go unstable on the merfolk. And I think I'm just gonna attack here. Look at that. He's blocking. Okay, that's positive. That's why I'm usually like with the Cyclopean mummy. I mean, he could have blocked it on the turtle. Then again, he would have died. So yeah, yeah, he had to. No, he wouldn't have died. It would have been on two. That would have been good as well, because then I could have timped him down. Um, in response, so he's killing my Tim. Fair enough. I actually don't mind because I get to ping him, put him on three next turn. I think I can kill him. Which is this turn. Let's go. Let's pump this. No, unsummon. Oh, that happens so often in this game. Oh yeah, City of Brass Man, okay, doesn't matter. I don't have enough mana? Oh no! How did that happen? Oh, I should have made blue mana with the wall of air, of course. Stupid. Wasn't paying attention. 
Hopefully I can now win with the merfolk. Don't play out anything. Oh man. Wishful thinking. Okay, gonna play out of bats. Play the wall of air. I mean, if the pirate ship kills my merfolk, I can win with the bats. Or not. Oh man. Yeah, this is really bad. I mean, the conjurer's on one, but there's too much there. The two pirate ships are huge. Hey, control magic. Okay. Give me the ship. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. This is, this is really, I like this kind of magic, what he's doing. Like first pinging my wall for one and then attacking, like kind of, uh, what to do. I think I, gotta, I, I cannot block, I gotta go to three. If that control magic would have resolved, I think I would have won it, but now I'm gonna absolutely lose it. Another counter spell. Oh man, that's bad. That is bad. Really nice deck of the Conjurer. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna block one of the ships. At least I got killed by pirate ships. I mean, kind of be upset about that. Um, okay, I think this is it for today. Um, I'm gonna save, let's go. And if you've enjoyed this episode of Chandler, please leave a comment down below, leave a like, share this on your socials. All these things really help the channel move uh, uh, forward. Uh, and of course, you can also become a subscriber of the show and then you can check out my Patreon page on patreon.com slash timmytalks. And then you can become a patron of the show. And when you do, your name will be mentioned in the end scroll. What end scroll? This end scroll. Zeke!